Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and currently Samsung's official touchless based lollipop update for the Galaxy Note 3 N9005, that's the Snapdragon variant, is rolling out. As always, it's a regional update rollout from Samsung, so uh, there are a few regions, a few countries that have received this update right now. If you can't wait for the update to roll out where you're from, you can manually flash this update. So there's not going to be a lot different barring the fact that some preloaded apps uh, that are region specific might be included. And since this is a signed official update from Samsung, it will not trip your Nox counter, it will not affect uh, your warranty status. Guys, in all probability, you will not end up losing apps or data, but just to be safe, go ahead, back up everything you have and then continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description. Clicking on link one would take you to this page. Download Samsung keys from here, save it to your PC. Link 2 will take you to this page or a different mirror. Basically, you'll have to download Odin 3 v 3.09.zip. Once you've done that, head on over to Link 3. That will take you to Sam Mobile, uh, the firmware page in particular. So over here, type N9005, that's the model number, and you'll get a list of regions uh, that have received the 5.0 update so we're going to be flashing the po uh, the poland update here that's what i'm going to be flashing you could download uh anything else uh everything would work as long as it's for the n9005 which is what we searched for so the files have been downloaded i already have installed samsung keys we need samsung keys 3 basically uh to set up drivers for the pc uh, for for the windows pc and the note 3 to communicate so right now just extract these files And uh, go ahead, right click on Odin, hit run as administrator. So now let's quickly jump to the phone. So guys, go ahead, turn off the Note 3 and then hold down volume, power and home at the same time. Once you see this, go ahead, hit volume up to continue. And now connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. Oops, sorry, wrong cable. All right. So it doesn't have to be the micro USB 3 uh, 3.0 cable that came with your phone. If it is, that's fine. If not, just any regular old micro USB cable should work. So jumping back, right now click on AP and select the file that we just extracted. So lollipop stock touchwiz. It's it would be a .tar.mb5 file. Select it. And Odin would appear to be uh, unresponsive for a few seconds. That's normal. Don't worry about it. So guys, uh, right now this would be blue. As soon as you connect your phone in download mode, this would turn blue. If it hasn't turned blue, it means there are some issues with the driver. So make sure keys is not running in the background. If it is, exit it. If it still doesn't turn blue, go ahead, uninstall keys. Reboot your PC, reinstall it, reboot it again, and it should work. So right now, I've ensured that it's just auto reboot and F dot reset time that I checked. Everything else remains unchecked, and hit start. So at this point, you'd, you'd see this little bar starting to run across your Note 3. Uh, this whole process takes about five to ten minutes. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. There you go, guys. We're done. Once you see the blue reset. You can go ahead, close Odin. We are done with the PC part of this tutorial. Uh, jumping back to the phone, as you can see, you'd see this little green Android and then the phone would reboot. You can disconnect the micro USB cable at this point. Uh, give it a few minutes to reboot, about five minutes uh, at max. The first boot into a new ROM is gonna take longer. You'd see the Android is loading sign. And uh, just to show you guys, at any point, if your phone is stuck at the Samsung boot logo for about uh, over five minutes, well over five minutes, around 10 minutes or something, uh, in that case, all you'd have to just open up your back panel, uh, pull out the battery, and then give it a few seconds, pop it back in. And this time around, hold up volume, power, and home at the same time. Once you see Galaxy Note 3, let the keys go. So this would basically take you into uh, the recovery. So over here, scroll down, select wipe data factory reset. So you don't have to do this uh, under normal conditions, but if your phone doesn't boot up for quite a long time, around 10 minutes or so, then go ahead, 
just hit the power button to select volume keys to navigate select delete all user data that would wipe everything uh, give it a minute or some minute or so all right and now select reboot system now and your phone will reboot so anyway uh, I just factory wiped my phone so it's gonna take me about five minutes I'll be back with you guys once my phone's up so I just got through setup guys uh, so there you go that's just to show you quickly heading on into settings Oops, device controls general about device and that's lollipop so I guess that's pretty much it guys for this quick little tutorial on how to manually flash the lollipop update onto your galaxy note 3 n9005 hope you guys found it useful hope you liked it if you did please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like this do stay subscribed if you do run into any issues or if you have any queries do let me know via the comments below or feel free to hit me up on twitter at c4e tech and uh, i guess that's pretty much it guys uh thanks a lot for watching till next time this is ashia from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now